really like the angle. I just feel like so huge. Do I look huge? Yes or no? Do I look cute? How about I look cute? But anyway. <laughs> for youtube friends welcome back to my channel welcome if you're new so trying kind of a different kind of setup because if you haven't noticed i've moved my room around because i have to prepare for the birth of my baby so we have to like switch some things around to better accommodate room sharing because my baby's gonna stay in my room for the first few months at least so I had to like move it around to where I feel more comfortable where the bassinet was laying and the way I had it first it was like too cramped the room is still kind of cramped but I think I like this way a little better for the bassinet which is in the background I'm trying different angles so I'm actually sitting on my bed as opposed to in a chair still sitting or usually sit with my window in the background but usually used to see like my actual bed behind me because it used to be facing that way but now it's facing this way so We'll see how this goes. I feel like I look weird sitting here with exposing more belly. So, I don't know. Tell me what y'all think about this angle. I'm trying to make it so y'all can see me, not just belly. So, yeah, this is so different, but hopefully, I like it. Hopefully, it looks good. So, I'm here today to bring my final pregnancy update, my third trimester update. I am really in the home stretch it is almost over it has been a journey if you haven't seen any of my previous pregnancy videos please go watch those because you will see just how far we've come from the beginning to now it's really 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 crazy that i'm about to have a baby next video after this you're probably going to see my baby like i probably have my baby it's crazy can't take it so and actually honestly when y'all see this video i might already have my baby so because as of today i am 39 weeks and two days which means i'm five days away oh my gosh am i really i have to check that i'm five days away from my due date this is crazy i am you can see it five days away from giving birth Ooh, bless me. Hopefully, five days away from getting birth, because hopefully five days away if he cooperates. But you know, as of now, you know, it ain't looking like five days. But we'll get into that in the video. So before we get into the video, let me say hi. Hi, I'm Danny. If you don't know if you're new, welcome to my team. I'm so glad you're here. Don't know why you're here, but you are. Might as well get comfortable and stay. And just join the team. Go ahead and subscribe, notification bell so you can know. Well, my next video is coming because my next video might be an introduction to my baby you want to be the first one to see that like you want to be breaking news honey my baby boy baby boy is here so hit the notification bell to stay updated for our future videos and ah, i can't believe it i've really been like in pregnancy video modes even after and my baby i think i'm gonna get back into my makeup videos i should have recorded this look it's, i didn't know what i was doing i just wanted something quick just because I wanted to record the video and I wanted to look cute doing it and I wanted to put on this dress because it's a maternity dress that I never got to wear and I'm currently quarantining myself for two weeks. I don't have corona but just to ensure that I don't come in contact with anybody that has corona up until my due date I said I'm just gonna stay in the house. So I'm not going anywhere so I wanted to put on this dress so it didn't go to waste. So I just had to get cute. So as I was saying after I had the baby hopefully I get back into my usual mukbangs and makeup videos so enough of the blah 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 we're gonna get into the video so let's get started i always want like weird i try to, to figure out what transition i'm gonna do drop remember that drop okay let's get into the video so if you haven't seen my first and second trimester update videos go watch those because you can see the lead up just to see the build up is think it's gonna be so dope see like how was my first trimester why i looked like how my attitude was and what i was going through then it's the second trimester and now it's the third like ugh, this is really crazy so the third trimester of pregnancy is the last 12 weeks of pregnancy so it starts at 28 weeks and ends whenever you give birth 
which is typically 40 weeks when your due date is but it's very common to go one or two weeks over <sighs> i'm hoping i don't but we'll see so my third trimester started on june 12th when i first turned 28 weeks and it's gonna go on until i give birth out usually when i do my trimester videos i do it like after i've already exited out the trimester but because i want to do it while i'm still pregnant I'm gonna go ahead and do as close to my due date as possible because hopefully in between now and five days from now I give birth so I didn't know this is the last day I could really try and make this video so first things first I'm gonna get into my appointments like I usually do we're gonna talk about appointments what has led us up to this point so as you know from my last video when you first enter your third trimester you start going to your appointments every two weeks until you get to 36 weeks then once you get to 36 weeks you have appointments every week so in July, I had two appointments because August is when I enter my 36 weeks. So I start having appointments every week in August. Today's actually August 30th. Yeah, August 30th. So July appointments, nothing crazy. They were every two, that's when they really started in every two weeks. Nothing really crazy happened. I did have a situation where I had a little bit of light spotting in between my two appointments. So when I told my doctor for my last appointment in July, I was 34 weeks she did like early check for checking my cervix for dilation usually they start that at 36 weeks but she went ahead and checked it just to make sure i wasn't like going into labor or my cervix wasn't like starting to dilate which could be you know a sign for like early labor starting to like you know spot but the spotting was very short-lived and it didn't come with any like cramps or anything so she was then have anything to worry about it was just random that it happened but that was one thing that happened in july july was very the use and then august is my start of the weekly appointments because i turned 36 weeks august 7th august 7th is my turn 36 weeks this is when more stuff has really started to happen so on um, my 36 week appointment we set up for an ultrasound i got to get my third trimester i think, it's called, I think they call it a growth scan because when they like check how big the baby is to kind of like get an estimate on make sure your due date's on track and see like how big the baby if he's growing how he should be so i did my ultrasound i almost grabbed the pictures so at my third is it the ultrasound the growth scan and i'm so excited about that because i got to see him again and my ultrasound tech was really nice i told her the story about like getting them getting the gender wrong and she thought that was so crazy so she was really dedicated to seeing what the gender is she was getting nervous because she was having trouble my baby is really stubborn i was gonna say shy but he's not shy like he doesn't want to show you what's in between his legs when they try to look for it it's hard to find it but at one point she found it she was like okay yes it's it's, it's a boy he's still a boy and she showed me she could see his like testicles and everything so she was like you can rest assured i was telling her it's the day for my baby shower so i was telling her i'm scared that you're gonna change it and say actually it's a girl because my baby shower's the next day and i would be so devastated i wouldn't tell anybody because people are gonna come to the baby shower with boy stuff and i'm having i would be i would find out i was actually having a girl so i'm glad they didn't change it so i'm still having a boy as of again still not fully convinced until he actually comes out of my hoo-ha but we're going with boy as of now but yeah everything was good i have the oh just some pictures he is a chunky butt. He was weighing six pounds, three ounces, which looks kind of pretty normal. I think the other sun tech was kind of like, ooh, he can get big because at this point, they expect the baby to gain like a half a pound a week. So if that's the case, we're looking at him being like eight pounds, which is, it's not huge, but it's kind of a big baby. So she was like, you know, they go either way. So I have pictures. She was nice enough to do 3D. So I got some 3D pictures. She was obsessed. Her and the other nurses were obsessed with his lips. Because he was like puckering them out. I don't know why. It like he has some big old lips. But I just don't think his lips are really that big. Those are his lips. I think he just like blowing kisses. He's a little bit of a flirt already. His little fat face. This is another facial. You see his lips and his nose. He got a little chunky face. He's so, oh my God, I can't wait to actually see his face in person. And then here she started getting like some 3D pictures. I don't know if y'all can see what I see. This is my favorite one, but you can see like his nose, his mouth, his big old cheeks. This one's a little, I think it's a little bit better. 
this one. So you really kind of like there's his eye, cheeks, there's his nose, his lips, his chin, it's his whole face right there. Here's one more 3D picture, but you know, like I said, see the same thing. Eyes, nose, lips, cheeks. His cheeks are really droopy and fat. It like so oh, I can't wait to kiss on those cheeks. She was like he was like sitting, like his lips poked down, had like his tongue like <laughs> like that. I'm like, ooh, little chunky butt. Here's another face shot. If you see his like nose, mouth, forehead. This what baby looks like. I hope he's gonna be cute. <laughs> I'm obsessed with these because these are really because I got these done at 36 weeks. This is like probably the most accurate look of what he's gonna look like when he comes out because he's oh my god. I can't wait to see him. I don't know. I hope it looks like me, but I think it's like his dad. His dad is like has a droopy face, but I think his dad has a droopy face. It's not like that droopy because he's a baby, but it's like he doesn't have high cheekbones, so I don't know what he's like about. But anyway. So that was that 36 week. That was the most exciting part. And then I had my regular appointment. She did the GB swab, which is for group B strep, which is common like, you know, disease or infection. Let me look it up. I'll be, I'll be ready to lie to y'all. Oh, it's an infection. It's like bacteria. It's common bacteria in the vagina of a woman. So if you have it, it's nothing to be like alarmed about, but it could be deadly to a baby. So they test for it in women. And if you're group B positive, they have to give you antibiotics while you're in labor just so you don't pass them on to your baby um but i was group b negative again another negative test that i'm so thankful to god for um so i don't have to get antibiotics or anything worry about that but they did the group b strep they do a swab of your vagina and your rectum people were like hyping like it was something like so scary but it wasn't that bad i barely felt it it was like quick little swabs and that's when she started and this is as she's doing right before she did my cervix dial Lation, like check for my cervix to be dilated they started they're starting to do that weekly at 36 weeks which is a very <sighs> controversial topic some people think they're so unnecessary which i i could believe it they're being unnecessary because they really don't tell anything because people go into labor water breaks cervix never was dilated and then some women have experiences where the doctor accidentally stripped their membrane or broke their water while they was like you know checking their cervix so they they're so against it I'm just, I'm a little more just like my first pregnancy, so I kind of like at least want to experience it and make my own decision on if I think it's necessary or not. So, how you feel? How you feel? Make it your own. But yeah, at that point I was not dilated at all, which was kind of a relief because I didn't want to go into labor early. I want to go into labor as close to my due date as possible. I really want to go into labor either this Wednesday or my due date. A lot of people are like guessing I'm gonna go like two days over so thinking I'm gonna give birth on the 6th, which I'm not opposed to. I really want, I have my selfish reasons on why I want my baby to have these certain birthdays. 9-2, my, my birthday's 2-9. 9-4 is Beyonce's birthday, it's his actual due date. 9-6 is okay because it's still like Labor Day weekend. I want him to be born the first week of September because I want him to have a Labor Day weekend birthday. <laughs> so when we celebrate his birthday, we have a long weekend. Like that's what I really wanted. So hopefully he comes sometime this coming week. But he come whenever he's ready. So oh, ultrasound. So the ultrasound has him, I guess, measuring because he's a little bigger, measuring due date of the second, which I'm not opposed to. And he's head down, which is great because that means he's in position to come out. He's not breached. But he's been head down, I think, the whole time. I don't ever and all my ultrasounds, he's always been head down. So I don't know if he was ever head up. But yeah, he's always been head down, so he's ready. So yeah, after that, I had my next appointment. I was, my 37 week appointment, I had it, I was 36 weeks and four days. I had like a few days, like four days after my first one and nothing changed. Check dilation, still nothing changed. She recommended I start walking and she recommended I get an exercise ball, which I have. So I have exercise ball that I can like now bounce on like every day to try to get it going supposed to like help him like help push the baby down into your pelvis which will help put that pressure down on like your cervix for your cervix to dilate and i've been walking around the block so nothing changed dilation so yeah after that when i got my ball like i said i've been bouncing on it been trying to walk as much as possible it's hot outside though it's the weather starting to it's slowly transitioning like you could tell fall's coming soon because the weather's not as bad so it's been a little cooler and then i had 
my 38 week appointment i was 37 weeks six days it was like the day before i turned 38 weeks again not dilated <laughs> nothing happens so my appointments have been you know of course the regular check weight blood pressure check urine listen to baby heartbeat but now they've added the cervix checks and I, again at 30 weeks i was not dilated so i was getting a little worried at that point i'm like okay at this point i was happy at 30 so i wasn't dilated but now we're getting to 37 38 and still i dilated and i've been bouncing on the ball and i've started walking like is he gonna come on his due date is he gonna be over and the doctor was like you know it's very normal especially being your first pregnancy for you to go over but we're not gonna let you go over a week so we'll see how that goes i don't go over a week i'm ready for him to come i'm ready to meet him so my last appointment was a few days ago i was 30 it was my 39 week appointment i was 38 weeks and five days and a little bit of progress finally service is still not dilated but she said it's softened now at first it was like nothing it was just like just sealed shut wasn't softened at all nothing now at least she said it's softening so she could tell like me walking and bouncing the ball has been helping so she's been recommending like keep that going and i kind of feel like it's working and she oh she's been asking me like checking like have i been feeling contractions because at this point i should be feeling like practice contractions and that's a good sign because the contractions are also what makes like your cervix dilate and i haven't really been feeling anything like you don't want to feel consistent contractions because that can mean you're in labor but i haven't been feeling anything like regularly like i have like random these contraction feelings which i'm gonna get into later so that's why I'm kind of worried like he's not gonna come in his due date because I haven't even been feeling contractions like I feel like I should be or I've been feeling like more pressure though like I feel like he's dropping down so at my last appointment like I said she said he was soft and she could feel like his head is like down like he's definitely dropped which is a good thing my next appointment I will be it'll be the day for my due date I'll be 39 weeks in six days literally the day for my due date it's gonna be September 3rd as I'm doing the fourth a lot of people are also thinking i'm i'm gonna give birth on the third that's also the day that's the date i've been thinking lately it's gonna be the day i give birth i think i'm gonna go in for my appointment and they're gonna keep me like i think that's what's gonna happen i don't know if that's what's gonna happen but that's what i think in my mind it's gonna happen just because i just i really feel like i'm about to go over maybe i am hope not but she said we would do an ultrasound on my due date so i'm thinking since i'm going to the appointment day for my due date they're gonna go ahead and do an ultrasound to check to make sure everything's okay and then talk about like what happens next like she said, they usually don't make, they usually don't let us go over a week so they'll give me like seven extra days that's up until september 11th and they'll be like okay but i don't want to get induced i just hear inductions are just so like some people like them because you can plan them and you know like this is the day you're going to be giving birth but i just i hear pitocin just cranks up your contraction or just anything that's like forcing your body to go into labor just just makes the pain even more unbearable and i just don't have to go i want him to just come on his own on his own timing naturally but we're playing about ear at this point we'll see i'm gonna go for a walk later hopefully that helps so that's how the appointments have been going so we're almost done so i only have like one maybe two more appointments to go after this and then it'll be going to pediatrician appointments so next we'll go into my symptoms they have been feeling really the same old same nothing really new well i'll get into new ones but uh i've started losing my energy again i know i mentioned in my previous second trimester video that uh second trimester i had a burst of energy but now i was starting to lose it and i definitely have started to lose my energy usually people start nesting and i have random bursts of energy like when i decide to put together my bassinet or i have like a mama root over in the corner i put that together yesterday i cleaned up and organized a lot i've washed his clothes i've done a lot of stuff that's like nesting but it's kind of like me forcing myself to do it so i haven't really felt like i have like a whole like a burst of energy to get this stuff done so i don't know but i've definitely been tired like i just want to lay around all day i just want to sleep so that's what's going on with that my appetite is also still heavy it's even heavier i think and at this point because i'm at the end i haven't given a f about what i've been eating i have not been trying to eat healthy i've been going fast food crazy sugar crazy sweets crazy which is not that great but just at, at this point at the end my doctor's proud of me about my weight gain because i haven't been gaining too much and at this point you know he about to come out anyway so <laughs> yolo of course we all know that my main issue i have with pregnancy is nausea I haven't felt any nausea but i randomly threw up yesterday i was cleaning up and i got like grossed out and i just threw up but that was so random and i don't know 
I yesterday I was, it was and that's why I think he's coming soon. Cause yesterday I would just like just didn't feel it. I was feeling so sick. I just wasn't in a good mood. I felt weak. I guess I threw up randomly. But I hope I can get out of that like random throwing up being, being grossed out by something because babies are gross. It's gonna be a lot of grossness, a lot of gross poop explosions. It's gonna spit up. I hope that doesn't make me sick. And that was that. I thought that was a weird happening. <laughs>